I was scared to go inside the mosque. I was so scared to go inside the mosque. <sighs> and um, he came to me. He actually texted me and was like, Rosetta, is that you in the car? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and I think he realized that I was scared to get out of the car. It's so embarrassing thinking about it now. But I was, y'all, I was really scared, okay? I stayed in the car for like 30 minutes. For real but the imam walked over to me gave me the book and um i went home and i started reading it and at first i was like okay nothing making sense like why do they keep repeating uh god is almighty and and like they were in the quran it goes i think it it, it starts with the al-fatiha but I, but like, if you read it in English and you're not Muslim and you're not familiar with it, you're like, what? Like, I know God is the almighty. Like, why does it keep introducing this? But that's what I thought. But, um, that part, the Al-Fatiha was really confusing for me at first. And then, um, it, it, it started making sense as I kept reading and kept reading and, you know, it would bring up you know, not eating pork and it, it went into a lot of things. Like it, it went into, you know, um, the prophets, peace be upon them all. Um, it went through, you know, women's rights and Islam. It, there are sections in it, in the Quran about women's rights and about the hijab. And, um, you know, I would write down things, you know, like, why does the woman have to wear the hijab? Why does the men have, why does the men are, why are men able to have four wives? I would write down, you know, my questions. And then after about three or four weeks, I finished reading the Quran and I called the imam and I said, I read the Quran and he said, you read the whole thing? And I said, yes, I read the whole thing. He said, oh, wow. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, you know, I'm still interested. What do I need to do? <laughs> and he was like, okay, well, come over to the mosque and I will show you around and we can talk about it. I go to the mosque a few days later and I I wore, um, it was, it was on Friday. It was, on, it was after Juma, after Juma prayer. And um, you guys, I actually wear the hijab that day <laughs> but my hijab story will be in another video but um I did go to the mosque and um it was after Juma and I remember um it was a lot of people it was really crowded I was really nervous I didn't know what to think I didn't know I didn't know any I just I I was just like oh my god oh, Muslims everywhere but <laughs> um I uh I waited for him because he's the mom so he was finishing up prayer and um we went inside his office and we talked about the Quran he answered some of my questions and then he was like well let me show you around and then he showed me around and I saw the prayer room and everything was intimidating to me everything was so intimidating to me everything the, the 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 prayer room was intimidating to me the the mosque was intimidating the people the imam like <laughs> I was just so nervous you guys but when I was in the mosque I felt at home you guys like I felt peace and he invited me this was during Ramadan I took my shahada during Ramadan mashallah right so I took my Shahada during Ramadan and um, he invited me that that month. Yeah, that month he invited me back to the mosque and it was on Friday and it was like a community iftar event. And an iftar is um, during Ramadan, we fast for 30 days and uh, we break our fast at night. So we don't eat or drink anything until... Um, until after the sun goes down and he invited me to their community iftar and i remember being like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my 
sabotage? Am I gonna go? Am I gonna go? Am I gonna go? Like, oh no, I have to go. I have to go. I have to, I have to see what it's like. And I was so nervous. You guys, I was so nervous. I cannot say this enough. And um, I remember calling my best friend and I was like, girl, I think I'm gonna be Muslim. Like, I'm gonna be Muslim and I need you to come with me to the mosque tonight because they're eating together and I have to be there. And my best friend was like, what? She was like, what are you talking about? She was like, you're going to be Muslim? And I was like, yeah, I think I am, you know? And she was like, okay. She was like, <laughs> she was like, okay, pick me up and we'll go. And I was like, okay, cool. Got it. You're locked in. You can't back out now. So we, <laughs> I picked her up. We went that night and, um, I, I saw the woman pray. So that was really cool. I got to see that for the first time ever, seeing the prayer. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this is so different. This is so different. And of course, I don't speak or understand Arabic. And um, so that was really different for me. But it was really cool. That was really cool. And again, I still felt peaceful. It was intimidating, but I still felt peaceful. Um, everybody was really nice. I want to say that everybody I encountered were so nice, so educating, so respectful. I appreciate that so much. Everybody was so amazing. Alhamdulillah. Everybody was so amazing. And I remember um, I was talking to some of the girls there and one of them was actually a revert who I'm close to now. Hi, Jennifer. And <laughs> we were talking and I know some of the girls, um, you know, were asking me questions and I was telling them, you know, I, you know, I'm not sure when I'm going to take my Shahada. And that's when they were like, Oh, just do it today. <laughs> they were like, do it today. Take your Shahada tonight. It's, it's Ramadan and there's no point of waiting. And, and I was so nervous and I think I, I, I was nervous to take Shahada because I knew that when I took my Shahada, this was going to be a different lifestyle for me. This was going to change me. Um, taking your Shahada, taking your declaration of faith is not something to play with. It is very serious. Being, becoming a Muslim is a serious decision. It's a choice. It's a, like I said, it's a, it's, it's a different lifestyle. You are going to change you your 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 friends may change um your 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 um diet will change if if you like with pork like and, and eating halal like these things are going to change and I knew that I knew that I knew that when I took shahada that was it I knew that when I took shahada I was wearing hijab I was covering up my body and I was not eating pork anymore and it's just a lot I was praying five times a day like this you guys like that's what, that's why I was nervous about taking the Shahada. Not, it, not because I, I didn't know if this was right for me, but because of the lifestyle. The lifestyle was going to be different. And I, and I didn't know, and I didn't know a lot about Islam yet. But when I was talking to the girls and I was talking to the Imam, it was, you know, they gave me their opinion and the imam gave me his opinion, which I, I appreciate it so much because he, he talked to me and without any pressure, I, I knew after speaking to him that I was taking my shahada right there. Like I was taking my shahada that night. And, um, I, I, and I'm so happy that I took my Shahada because you guys, I am about to get so emotional. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my God. I cannot believe I'm about to get emotional. This is so annoying. <laughs> but um, the moment that I... Oh my gosh, I am about to cry. The moment that I took my Shahada was the best thing that has ever happened to me was becoming Muslim. Finding Islam was the best thing that has ever happened to me. Um, and like I said, like ultimately, like you can do your research and 
you know, you can practice wearing the hijab and being modest and, and talking to Muslims, but uh, if Allah doesn't put that light in you, like that dedication to Islam, it's like, just wait, like wait to take Shahada, you know, and um, do more research. If you're that type of person, like if you need to do so much research, do it. Um, but I do feel like at the end of the day, Allah will put the light of Islam in you. And I hope that makes sense when I say, I, I think I've said it like five times during this video, Allah putting the light of Islam in me. But I believe that. I believe that Allah guides who Allah wants to guide to Islam. And in my opinion, no matter how much research I did, if I was going to become Muslim, I was going to become Muslim. I was going to do it no matter what. If I wasn't going to become Muslim, I wasn't going to do it no matter what. No matter how many books I read, no matter how many YouTube videos I watched. Um, but alhamdulillah, you guys, like, it was the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I won't go into details as to why Islam was the best thing for me. Um, I'll probably do that in another uh, another video, inshallah, inshallah. But, um, you know, ever since taking my Shahada, things have changed for me for the better. For the better, honestly. For the better. And um, my best friend was there when I took my Shahada. Masha Allah, um, I want to cry thinking about it, you know. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. <laughs> um, so my best friend was there with me when I took my Shahada, which I like appreciate. And I know she doesn't understand um, how much that means to me. Hopefully one day she does. And she just like, she really gave me the courage to do it because I, you know, I was scared about like what people were going to think, you know, um, cause that's always something that I think a lot of people that aren't Muslim that are thinking about, um, becoming Muslim, taking Shahada, you are going to be scared about, you know, what people are going to think, but you're, you're naturally going to think that because the media puts such bad, um, imaging of Islam and Muslims. So yeah, I was nervous about what people were going to think about me, what my family were going to think about me, my friends. And the fact that my best friend supported me through this and sat there with me while I took my Shahada, like that really boosted up my energy and my confidence to just, to just really go for it and give it my all. And Alhamdulillah, I'm so glad that I did. And, um, you you're if you're watching this and you are not muslim and you're thinking about taking shahada i promise you are going to feel it in your body in your heart in your body in your mind you are going to feel this this passion this this fire like I wish I could really explain to you guys um, exactly what I what I mean by that. But um, you'll know. You'll know when you're ready to take your Shahada. And um, you, you're going to be okay. You're, you're going to be okay. You're going to be tested. Absolutely, you will be tested. I was tested um, immediately after I took Shahada. That can be another story. But... Um, you're, I mean, you're going to know when you're going to, when you're ready to take your Shahada. You will know. You will know whether you took three months to research, two weeks to research, a year to research, you are going to know that this is right for you. I promise you, you will feel it in your heart. And um, I'm going to end this video today by saying that when you take your Shahada, just understand that you are taking taking on a huge uh, 
a huge commitment and a lifestyle and you truly have to believe that this is the right way and I am so excited for you. If you do take your Shahada after watching this video, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments if you have just been Muslim this past year, 2019. Let me know. And um, I'm so happy that you guys uh, finished the video. <laughs> if you finished the video, if you stuck around and watched my entire video, shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> because that's awesome. So, um, yes, if you guys have Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, that's the only social media I have, and I want to keep it that way for a while. But um, that can also be another uh video. But um, yeah, that is it. This is this is it. This is this was my revert story. This was my my coming to Islam story. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up if you want more videos. Um, I will definitely try to come out with more uh, content every week. Once a week is my goal. I do work full time. So I will try my best, you guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, and uh, I can't wait to... Uh, do this again and um you guys have a great night a good morning a good afternoon wherever you are around the world and uh alaikum.